Hey, welcome to The Threshold, the place of the intuitive, the mystic, the contemplative. A place to strengthen your connection to the core through mindfulness and intuitive practices. So I'm going to start out with a question as I usually do. Is love really all you need? Well, let's find out. So what exactly is love? It's February. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. But is love just about romance? Now, I answered the questions or at least asked questions and discovered a few answers as I began to develop a uh, contemplative course called All You Need Is Love. So let's begin with what the heck is love? So love is. Let's reframe it. So instead of it being about affection or desire, let's see love as allowing someone to be themselves caring for someone unconditionally, giving them the room, the opportunity to grow into who they are. This is a paradigm shift in which love as unconditional takes on a whole new meaning. So at our core is really a spark of love. The origin of our spark of love is the creator, the sacred. That spark at our core flares a connection of love across the abyss that leads us to the sacred. And we're going to call the, the sacred the all spark, as it were. When we ignite the spark at our core, a highway of connections is made visible. And that highway is between the self, the parts of ourself, others, the sacred, and all of creation. So moving along this highway... We give and receive an infinite supply of love. So I'm going to say we need this love. The world is wild and fierce and beautifully uncertain. It's where we get bombarded with so much stuff. Inevitably, we get fatigued. Sometimes the last thing we want to do is love. Ourself, others, creation. When we are at our lowest, we remember that love is an energizer. When we consciously and intentionally share love, hope blossoms, barriers break down, silos dismantle, we connect to others. So love is a great transformer. Its energy ignites our forgiveness. It turns our attention to suffering. It really wakens our compassionate heart. So our bodhicitta awakens. It shines the light into the shadows of possibility. And ultimately, it makes the world a whole lot better place. Okay, so love for me is a game changer. Love's not for the timid. It asks us to move out of our shelves, beyond our comfort zone, to courageously live in a world that's not perfect, not nirvana, not heaven on earth. By igniting the spark of love, we fully engage life Understanding that we are in a great classroom, not of chosen lessons, but of challenges and surprises that call us to be our best self. And we show up as that best self by choosing love. Each time we choose to be an igniter of love, a receptacle of love, a sharer of love, our perception shifts. We see past our judgments, past our assumptions, um, pass long-held beliefs into the heart of another, into the heart of a situation, and lastly, and ultimately, into the heart of ourself. We feel the woundedness of the world and know that the greatest healing power is love. When we see life in this way, when we act from this knowing, life is never the same. Love propels us across the chasm that separates ourselves from others. This chasm is just an illusion that separates us from our life work. That work is to share ourselves with one another, unconditionally, compassionately, truthfully. This is not the love of enabling, but the love that holds each of us to our higher self, and that's what we're called to do over and over and over again. As I love dearly and completely, I realize that really love is all there is. 
Want to live a life where love is all there is? Want to join me in the love squad? I dare you. I double dare you to join me in a world where all there is is love. So I want to thank you for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Additional resources are available at VanessaFHurst.com. Um, I'd love to work with you as a contemplative coach to uh, really help you strengthen your connection to the core, strengthen your connection to that foundation of love. <coughs> but I want to say to you today, no matter what you do, find a way to share the world, to share with the world that love that is at your core. Thank you and namaste.